So I have a question for y'all. Do you like Menards? I like Menards, but sometimes I feel like they're a little small. My name is Alan Hain, coming to you from an undisclosed location where there's cool season lawns. Hey, hey you over by there. What? Yeah, you. You're not fooling nobody over by there. You're in Northwest Indiana. I mean, was it really that obvious? What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. That's right, I'm back home in Northwest Indiana, ready to give out some cool season lawn tips. And the good news this time is I got with me my good buddy, Jake, How you doing? Jake the Lawn Kid. Good to see everybody. We got some fun lined up for you today. We're gonna do a little bit of mowing, a little bit of throwing, a little bit of blowing. And along the way, we're gonna give some tips. Yep. Kind of like the old days. Uh-huh. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Also, he's got some cool videos that we filmed here. We did a neighbor sessions. What do we call that? We call that a podcast or a... Yeah, a little hybrid between both. Yeah, a little two minute lawn tip. So I will link Jake's channel up there in the eye as well as down in the description. So that way you can check out another viewpoint of everything we did this 4th of July weekend. All right, I hate to rush you, but we, we gotta get going. Okay, by the way, if you guys remember, I have a video series I did, how many years ago was that, Jake? I think seven years ago. Yeah, where I said how to get rid of Creeping Charlie and it was in this very parkway. I will link up there to those videos, but you can see the Creeping Charlie has returned, which it will do. And actually, it's not as bad as what it used to be, but it's probably been back for several years, right? Yeah. So. We kept it under control, though. Yep. This, however, is a catastrophe. Thistle's bad, yeah. I don't know about thistle. That, is that thistle? Yeah, that's thistle right there. Don't grab it. Yeah, that's prickly. Yeah, you'll know as soon as you grab it that you grabbed a thistle. She's been keeping up on the weeds, though, over in the landscape beds. Got a little oxalis oh, that's or wood bad. sorrel. Listen, that's bad this year. Yeah, I've seen it everywhere. It's creeping all over lawns. We're actually going to talk a little bit about weed control in today's video and uh, going to get to mow my old lawn. Jake set that up for me, which is going to be awesome. And uh, we'll see what else the day brings. Oh, and you got some challenges in your lawn. Well, I wouldn't say challenges because I'm up for any challenge, but I would just say we got some content. Yes. That's what I would say. So Jake actually has a similar problem to what I had at my house. And worse. I was breaking his chops a little bit that he let this happen, but then I've let it happen to me. Uh, 10 times as bad. Yeah, so <laughs> you guys definitely want to check out. He's going to do a video on why his lawn is all brown right now when everybody else's is looking nice and green around him. So let me take a couple minutes here and talk to you about the, the situation that they've experienced here weather-wise over the last few weeks, because I bet it's the same that many of you have experienced. So the first thing is uh, maybe uh, two weeks ago or so, they had a lot of really high temperatures here up into the 90s. This is all Chicagoland. And they had that for several days to the point where a lot of lawns started to check out just from heat and lack of rain. Even ones that were watered were checking out. Then all of a sudden they got, according to Jake, nine straight days of rain. Other people I'm surveying in the area, five straight, straight days of rain. It's one of those things, you know, it's relative to what people think, but either way, a lot of days of rain. Well, what that did was it allowed the lawns to recover from all the heat. And then just as I got into town here on Friday, it was only 79 degrees as a high. So what I'm getting at there is they've had mild temperatures. Now things are on the way back up today. Fourth of July is supposed to get into the eighties and then it's supposed to go back up. But because of the weather situation they've had, and the main thing I wanna point out is that many days of rain and then mild temperatures, all the lawns have bounced back. And the reason I know that is because even lawns in public places are green right now. 
ones that are definitely not irrigated and ones that may or may not get treated but again public areas are green so that tells me that we are in a prime time to go ahead and continue to move your lawn along so because it's independence day we're going to put down freedom i mean what else would you expect right but this is a fine summer fertilizer people are scared of that first number 17 but the uh the bag here the bag rate's only three pounds per thousand so three times 17 percent is 0.51 pounds of in it's just a half a pound of in which is enough to give you a nice green kick, but not enough to push some bad growth or unneeded growth. And then we've got 6% potassium, which is good for summer stress, which all of these lawns are coming out of a stressful period and possibly coming into a new stressful period as temperatures rise again. Now, not all lawns did recover. And you see this lawn here. This one is uh, in an area where apparently their root system was not very strong going into the, the, the hot spell. And even with all the rain and the cool temperatures, it hasn't recovered yet. And this challenge with these weaker root systems not being able to recover, it's why I push so hard for spring fertilization. Push it, push it, push it while it wants to grow. Push roots, push top growth. Let it grab all that energy from the sun that it can so that it, when it does get to these rough patches and it comes to the other side of them, it's got enough oomph left in it to recover but if you don't treat it right you don't take care of it in the spring and you get these in the summer that's when the sickness goes down same thing it's like humans right if you take care of your body you can get through different sicknesses if you don't take care of your body some of them could you know by the way this lawn here i always do uh hotel lawn reviews this is, this is a homewood suites over by monster indiana over by there where i often will always stay this is taken care of forever green you have professional treatment here and it's just beautiful because look forever green i think the technician that takes care of this at least a couple years ago i don't know if it's the same guy or not he said uh he kind of he made a he made a comment on one of my posts but you guys are doing a great job out here this lawn always looks good i think it's a little darker green right here from dog pee in a lot of spots maybe but again look at that beautiful I mean, you guys do really good work now if you're somebody who wants to just stick with my regular plan which is perfectly fine too and not everybody is uh, going to go after the freedom then you want to stick right now with the 7020 stress blend that's really your best bet if your lawn is still struggling even after this uh nice of a reprieve spell that they've had um, and you're somebody that wants to bring it along nice and slow 7020 stress blend is bringing wonderful results right now so you can put that down the key is to let you know if this is how your weather pattern's been it's okay to fertilize in the summer i'll even link up there to a video i did or down below that your lawn is not going to burn in the heat of the summer i don't know why people think that but i dispel that myth for you in that video so check that out below why are you sweating so much man why are you sweating why are you sweating so much i don't know why why are you you look tired, I mean. Because I did all the work. I mean, you know the contract, right? When I come here, what? Yeah. What, what? What's the contract? You know, you have to make it look like I did all the work, but you yeah. actually do it. Come yeah, on, man, that hasn't changed. All right, let's see here. About half of that. Give it a little more. Smells like success. Okay, so I'm in another undisclosed location right now, and I didn't shoot this section of the video. So this section of the video is about weed control and cool season grasses in the summer. You actually can make headway on the weeds, but I'm gonna recommend that you don't get store-bought stuff at this point. The main reason is because one of the biggest weeds that you're gonna be seeing is crabgrass. Crabgrass will have a lime green color. It'll be found around the edges of sidewalks, heat zones, or areas where there's more thin spots where it can invade. I've got tons of videos on crabgrass and really the best way to control it is to prevent it with a pre-emergent, which you'll hear me harping on every single spring. But if you're looking at it now and you're seeing that you're having a problem with it, you can spray it. In fact, you want to, you want to spray it and kill it so it doesn't get to seed and drop seeds and cause more of a problem. The active ingredient that you want to look for is called quinclorac. However, the store-bought stuff is not concentrated enough. Let me show you. So I have a question for y'all. Do you like Menards? I like Menards, but sometimes I feel like they're a little small. When I say that, I mean, you know, like on selection when compared to like a Home Depot or a Lowe's, but I still like Menards. Look at that. That's what you want. Weed stop to see four lawns with crabgrass killer. Oh, that is a ready to use one gallon easy. This nice little uh, spot spray unit, see, because it comes with everything you need there. 
I was stupid and didn't bring my glasses in here. And Clorac. Is that 0.12? Yeah, 0.12. See? 0.12%. Mm -mm. That is not a high enough concentration to kill crabgrass hardly at all. Here's one I always recommended. Let me zoom out. Sorry. I like this brand. The problem is everybody thinks of Roundup as a kill everything, but that's glyphosate. This is Roundup C for lawns. They got their quinclorac, 0.12, so about the same. Those concentrations are just not going to be high enough to kill crabgrass. So what you want to do is get one that has a higher concentration of quinclorac. Q4 Plus is uh, one by PBI Gordon that's extremely affordable. DIYers can get a hold of it real easy. I'll give you a link below. The thing about it is it's got the higher quinclorac that we want, but it's also got some other ingredients in there to kill some of this broad leaf, and uh, it can even get some nuts edge. So it's a great all around cool season grass, summer weed control. The only challenge you're gonna have with it is it does have a 90 degree temperature restriction. So if temps are over 90, do not spray it. Wait until the evening time and spray then when it's under 90, and you should be fine. And last little thing, with weed control in the summer, I almost always recommend just spot spraying. If you have a massive weed problem that you need to blanket spray, work on that towards the fall. I get bored having a perfect lawn if I'm being real. Hmm, okay.